The Ukrainian government has long claimed Russian armed forces are fighting on the rebel site. Today, Sky News filmed this, what appear to be well-armed, well-equipped troops. Their vehicles marked with the white painted circles of the separatists, but with all other insignia removed. These men don't look like ragtag militia. They look like a small reconnaissance unit of professional soldiers. We saw them being waved through the rebels' checkpoint. One of the guards said, these are ours. It's worth just looking at some of the details. Note the matching uniforms of the men on the armoured personnel carrier. Russian military expert Mark Galliotti told us they're wearing modern Russian kit with distinctive camouflage helmets and body armour. He said the man in the green t-shirt is carrying a rifle with special features, similar to those used by Russian Spetsnaz. We saw a main battle tank dug in to one side. President Obama said today that Russia is sending combat forces with weapons and tanks. But the Kremlin still denies it's moving men or equipment across this border. Over on the Ukrainian side, they're digging trenches, even as their president was supposedly agreeing a ceasefire. These men are volunteers for the National Guard. No one here has much faith in the politicians to negotiate a solution. The defences they're building here are pretty rudimentary. Many of the people manning them are volunteer soldiers working with very limited resources. But from these trenches, they're preparing to fight an enemy they say has superior weaponry and technology and that they believe is backed by Russia, one of the world's largest military powers. Roma ran a small business before he joined up. He told us he doesn't feel afraid, he feels patriotic. We're defending not only the city, we're defending the whole country. We want our country to stay united and unbroken, and we want to defend it from fascists, from separatists, who just want to ruin our country. He led us across to see the local workers who'd come to help dig machine gun positions. But as we were filming, they got word that something was wrong. Someone had seen movement up ahead. They were ordered to get the civilians out immediately. The soldiers took up positions with safety catches off, watching for any sign of the rebels' advance. We asked this man whether he thought the ceasefire would hold. He said they will definitely still fire at us. They didn't stop firing at us the last time, they just never stopped. Ceasefire or not, no one here is putting their weapons down. Katie Stallard, Sky News, Southeast Ukraine.